I found work from home jobs that are not only great for beginners, but they can also make you thousands of extra dollars per month. And a few of them, you can actually get to the six figure level. And the first one on the list is going to be a gaming support agent for the company 5CA. And this is a company that's designed for providing remote customer support for people that are already fans of other companies. And as a gaming support agent, you'll be navigating the treacherous landscape of angry players, technical issues, and answering the age old question, have you tried turning it on and off again. Now, this is a company that has great reviews online. And on top of that, you'll be making about $40,000 a year. Say what? And this can be great for you if you're already a fan of the video game anyways. So some of the pros of this one are skill development, entry level opportunities, and you get to immerse yourself in gaming culture. Some of the cons of this one are there can be challenging customers, of course, the task can be somewhat repetitive, and there can be problems with shift work and availability. So overall, I'm going to give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next one is also going to be in the gaming industry. And this is going to be great for you if you're somebody who is very good at a specific video game. And that's going to be a video game coach for gamersensei.com. And this is a website that's dedicated to teaching people how to be better at video games and learning from the industry's best gaming coaches. And as a video game coach, you'll be teaching people strategies, tips, and techniques. And this will help them to improve their gaming performance and achieve success in the virtual world. And believe it or not, people pay really good money for this. So for instance, you might be very good at chess. And in the last two years, since the Queen's Gambit came out, this is blown up on YouTube as well as across the internet. Chess is now more popular than it's ever been before. And before the Queen's Gambit came out, there was only a few channels that were making chess related content on YouTube. And now it seems like there's hundreds of them and most of them are offering coaching. And there's a story on CNBC about Amber who makes about $3,000 a month as a gaming coach. Damn! Now there's a lot of different websites that you can do this with, but Gamer Sensei specifically pays their coaches about $28 an hour. And gamer coaches make about $54,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are you get to work on your your own skill development. You can get a lot of personal fulfillment out of helping other people get better as well. And there's a lot of flexibility in working. Some of the cons of this one are the market is very competitive. Your income can be unstable and you do have to be very good at whatever game you're coaching for. Try not to wet yourself, noob. Overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of six out of 10. The next one on the list is a little bit more practical and that's gonna be an ads quality rater for welocalize.com. Now, welocalize helps other companies transform their digital content and as an ads quality rater, you will be evaluating the quality of ads that show up on their website. Because if you go to a website and you see a super sketchy ad pop up, as a consumer, that can be a big red flag and you might not ever go back to that website again. Now this company had really good reviews online and they pay their ads quality raters about $27 an hour. And according to Glassdoor, they make about $55,000 a year. So the pros of this one are flexible work schedules as well as location. There's a lot of potential for remote work opportunities and you can get experience in the digital marketing industry. Some of the cons of this is it can be very subjective. It can also be extremely repetitive and usually it's going to be contract or project-based work. But with that being said, my friend Seth has helped thousands of people get digital marketing jobs. I've interviewed a bunch of them on this channel and he does have a free digital marketing masterclass, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Now the next one on the list is one that's kind of looked down upon, but it's honestly one of the easiest ways to make money online and get your first remote job. And that's going to be a transcriptionist. And one of the many companies that you can work for is rev.com. And as a transcriptionist, you'll be responsible for converting audio or video into written text. So this is one that you probably have heard a lot about. You probably already know a lot about it as well. Some companies are definitely better than others when it comes to paying people and treating them well, but it oh definitely is one God, of the easiest good. ways to start making money online. It's probably not something that you want to do for the rest of your life though. Now, typically when you first start off with Rev, you're not going to be making very much money. And the reason for that is because they're going to give you the lower level jobs. But once you prove yourself, you can make up to about $20 per hour. So the pros of this one are skill development when it comes to your typing speed. There's a wide range of different industries to work in, and I do highly recommend specializing. And you have potential for a consistent workload. A lot of the people, for instance, will sign up with a bunch of different websites to make sure that they always have good jobs. Some of the cons here are it can be extremely repetitive and monotonous. It requires a 
high attention to detail and you can get a lot of finger strain, especially after you've typed for like five hours. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is a career that I think is going to be on the up and up in the next 10 years. And that's going to be a writer and one of the many websites you can start with is going to be textbroker.com. And on this website, you'll be responsible for creating things like articles, blog posts, marketing copy, or other creative content. And this is another one where you definitely want to specialize in something. So not only do you want to specialize in the type of content that you create, for instance, blog posts, but you'd also want to specialize in the niche that you like to write in. And the reason for that is because people will be able to tell if you actually know a lot about that niche. So for instance, you could be somebody who brands themselves as an expert in cryptocurrency blog writing. Now, the pros of this one are you're going to have a very flexible schedule. You pretty much have complete control over your time. You have the ability to pursue your passion for writing and creativity, and you have the potential for a diverse range of different writing topics. Some of the cons of this one are you do have to have very good self-discipline and motivation. Before you've established yourself, you're probably going to have a variable income, and there can be limited social interaction as well as feelings of isolation. I don't have the luxury of friends. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one on the list is another one that a lot of people look down on, but this is seriously one of the easiest jobs for you to get into if you're trying to get your first work from home job. And that is going to be a customer service representative. And in this particular case, you'll be working for Alpine Home Air. But like I said, there are tons of different companies where you could do this. Alpine Home Air is an HVAC company that provides different heating, ventilation, and air conditioning products. And as a customer service representative, you're basically the bridge between a company and their customers. And at this company, you'd make about $16 and 20 cents per hour. So the pros here are you do have an opportunity to develop excellent communication skills. There's lots of entry level positions available. And this can be a great way to get your foot in the door in an industry where you want to work later on. And this is even if you want to work in a completely unrelated position. The cons of this one are, of course, you're going to have to deal with Karen sometimes. Where is the manager? <laughs> it can sometimes be high pressure when it comes to meeting certain metrics. And there can be limited career advancement opportunities within the field of customer service. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you're a whiz at certain subjects that other people find to be very difficult. And that's going to be a tutor. And there's many different websites you can work for. One of them is coursehero.com. And you'll be helping students to understand difficult subjects, explain tricky problems, and support them in tackling assignments. Now, there are definitely certain subjects that pay much better than others. And tutoring is something where I was able to actually earn over $180 dollars an hour for and that's because I specialized so I didn't just teach chemistry I taught a specific type of chemistry which was pharmacology and I didn't just teach pharmacology I taught for a specific test and that test was the PCAT or the pharmacy college admissions test and because of that I was able to charge much higher than normal tutors do so this is another one where specialization is key and you want to figure out what you've already done and what you're already good at and that's what other people will be willing to pay a premium for but with that being said tutors on course Hero can make up to $1,500 or more per month. And this is a great place to get started, get your first few clientele. And then later on, you can probably branch out on your own and make a lot more than that. So the pros of this one are it can be a very fulfilling and rewarding experience. You also get a chance to brush up on subjects and you have a very flexible schedule and work environment. The cons of this one are the hours and income can be variable. It can be challenging dealing with different personalities and learning styles. And you're going to have to stay up to date on the latest educational trends. Why would they change math. So for instance, in the case of the PCAT, a lot of the time they will change the test questions. And in that case, you're going to have to stay up to date on it and make sure that you can teach them the right information. See, now that's some bullshit. But overall, this is a great side hustle. I mean, seriously, this is one where you can make amazing money. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Now, the next one on the list is kind of a new age opportunity that is getting more and more popular. And that's going to be a live coverage content creator. And you're going to be working for the company Sella Inc. And Sella helps other companies companies customize their online experience for their customers. And a lot of big brands are actually starting to hire individual content creators to represent them. A great example of this is vidiq.com. If you've ever seen their YouTube channel, they're actually represented by a guy named Rob. And a lot of the times companies will do this because it's actually more relatable to have a face representing the company. And so 
when they're making online content, they'll usually choose somebody to represent them. And as a live coverage content creator, this is one example of doing that. So you'll basically be a real time storyteller. You'll be doing live streams on different events, news and experiences for online brands. And this is a great way for you to get your foot in the door if someday you want to become a YouTuber, but you want to learn the ropes first. Now this company has great reviews online and they typically pay this position about 22 to $36 an hour. Some of the pros of this one are it is a creative outlet for self-expression. You get direct engagement and interaction with the audience. And there can be many versatile career opportunities, especially in this growing creator economy. Some of the cons of this one are there is a lot of time and effort required. There can be technical challenges to something like live streaming and content creation. It works every time except right now. And you have to get really good at dealing with feedback and <laughs> criticism because there are a lot of trolls online and you can't let them bother you. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an amazing opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. And by the way, if you're looking for other really good remote jobs, I actually created a remote job tier list where I rank a bunch of them from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And you can check that out by clicking right here.